You can make three different kinds of 3D rosettes with this scoring board, free with Papercraft Inspirations issue 164. This side of the board gives you the template, which you can then score to make these heart rosettes. The board lets you craft them in two different sizes. The other side of the board, this template, lets you craft butterfly rosettes. You then score the strips and stick them together to make these fancy butterflies. If you want to make a round 3D rosette, just use a simple strip and score it down the middle. You can give a nice lacy effect by punching your, score, your strip before you score it to give this lacy edge. Let's look step by step at how you use this fantastic board. I'm going to be making a heart rosette, so I want to use this side of the board, the side on the bottom. I'm going to also do a large sized rosette, so I'm going to mark first off two pencil lines coordinating with the large heart line on the board. Now I'm going to draw around the shape, taking it all the way around to where I marked those two lines to the large heart line. Then, just taking my metal rule, I'm going to draw a line there between those two lines so I know the shape that I need to follow when I'm cutting out my strip later on. To make one of these fancy rosettes, you need to create two different strips that are mirror images of each other. So I'm going to achieve this by flipping my paper over. Uh, because this is a double-sided paper, we're now looking at the back of the paper, which is why you can see the pattern. Uh, but I'm just, you could do it on regular paper and just draw on the reverse. Again, I'm marking the, to the large heart shape, drawing around the template. And then I'm going to go back and fill in the line that I need to cut out here. Cut out your two marked shapes with a pair of scissors. And then we're going to score them using the central part of the board, ready to assemble our rosette. Place one of the strips butted up to the edge of the board and using the scoring tool that's included in your free rosette pack, score along the lines in the board so that you have some score lines which we'll be using later when we fold the rosette. As you can see it folds up as you're scoring but as long as you keep it butted up to the edge of the board this shouldn't matter. Repeat this for both of your two cut strips. Now we're going to mountain and valley fold each of our scored strips. Work your way along the strip and at each score line fold up and then down and then up and then down to create your mountain and valley folded strip. Repeat this for the second strip so you have two mirror image mountain and valley folded paper strips. If you place them side by side, you can start to see how the heart rosette is going to come together. The first thing we're going to do is glue them together at the bottom. So at the bottom of the heart, that's the bit furthest away from the bulgy edge, you want to put a strip of glue on one and stick it to the corresponding bottom of the other one. Allow to dry. Once it's dry, you repeat it with the bottom of the shape and you can see you're left with this sort of cupcake case shaped piece. I'm taking a small circle which I've die cut from the same paper and I'm putting a big blob of uh, clear drying glue in the middle. Now you place your shape over it so the bulges are down and then you just push down, push down and pinch the shape in at the same time down onto the glue and you can see as it lies flat it's created the heart shape and because I've got this nice patterned paper it's given this this nice swirl in the middle as well. Now it's quite tricky here, you need to be very patient, I'm adding a bit more glue because you need to hold it in place while the rosette is drying to make sure you keep this circle in the centre of the piece as small as you can. Once it gets to a certain stage of dryness so that you can move your hands without uh, it popping out, you can put a weight on it, something like a glass or even uh, the bottle of glue can help secure it while it dries fully. But in the first instance, you've just got to be patient and hold it in place while the glue starts to dry. Leave your rosette secured under the glass until the glue has had time to fully, fully dry. Then you can remove the glass and see your finished 3D embellishment ready to use on all of your makes. This exclusive scoring board is only available with issue 164 of Papercraft Inspirations, so don't miss out on your chance to try your hand at crafting these fantastic embellishments.